Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install and update your printer drivers on your Windows computer. So, the first thing and prerequisite you need before jumping into this video, you need to know specifically what your printer name is. More than just if it's a Canon or Epson or Brother printer, you really need to know if it says MG or PIXMA or something along those lines that distinguishes it from any other printer that that manufacturer makes. Once you have that information, and it should be very easy to see if you still have the printer box or manual, or it should more than likely say it on the printer itself, you're ready to jump into this tutorial. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, and you want to type in Add Device, and you want to type in Control Panel, and you want to open up the Control Panel here, Go underneath the area that says Hardware and Sound and select Add a Device. If your View by Area is set to anything other than Category, you want to change it to Category View right here. So if it looks like this, change it to Category. Now underneath Add a Device, choose the device or printer to add to this PC. So give this some time to run here. If your printer is already turned on or plugged in, I'd recommend selecting that. And that should be one way of detecting your printer drivers. If you do not have anything in here and there's nothing that populates underneath Choose a Device, select Not Finding What You're Looking For here. You can click on the Cancel button and then go underneath Hardware and Sound. And now underneath Devices and Printers, left click on Advanced Printer Setup, just left click on it one time. And if the printer you want is not listed here, just left click on the printer that I want is enlisted right down here. Select Add a Local Printer or Network Printer with Manual Settings. Select Next. Select Use an Existing Port. More than likely you're not going to have to change that. And then click on Next. And now at this point you would select your printer on the left side here. So select the Manufacturer. And then you would scroll down until you found the Model Series on the right. So it should be pretty straightforward. And then you would click on Next. You can change your printer name if you choose to do so. Click on Next again. And that should hopefully be it, guys. So I recommend clicking on Finish here. Try to print a test page. And if that's not working, I would recommend that you restart both your computer and your printer after you follow this tutorial. Now, if that still does not work for you, I'd recommend going on the internet. So just open up a web browser and go over to Google. And then you would just would type in your printer. So let's say Canon PIXMA here. Let's say it's an MG3620. Just I would go on to Canon's website and this would apply to any printer basically. And once you've selected that, you just would open up the link. And then look, there's a drivers and downloads button. Select that. And then you would just select the recommended drivers here. So pretty straightforward guys, just click on download. And this is pretty much the same for pretty much every printer out there. Even if it's an older printer, it's likely still supported to some extent with drivers available through the manufacturer's website. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.